people wonder, is this dummy saying an insult? I had some interesting <laughs> letters from people who were embarrassed by the book. <laughs> One guy, Brian, who lives in Saipan, said that he found it in his um, Walden bookstore and he really liked it, flipped through it, but he was embarrassed to buy it, so he hid it between the Bible and the Quran on the, door, <laughs> on the cash register. So that he, he bought all three so that no one would notice he had a dummy's book. Over there. <laughs> so all of a sudden I realized, oh, dummies is, is an issue for spiritual people. Now, not spiritual people have no problem. <laughs> You know, oh, I'm a dummy in computer, I'm a dummy this, I'm a dummy that. But spiritual people, you know, we want to think well of ourselves and use positive affirmations, which is all good and well. But at the same time, humility is such an important part of spirituality. And the truth is, as I say in the, in the introduction to the book, that everyone's a spiritual dummy. I mean, spirituality is, is the essence of the universe. Spirituality contains all the science, contains all religion, contains all philosophy. In, in my view, it's, it's the substratum of everything. So to, to say you're a spiritual dummy, well, is just acknowledging the truth. In fact, there's a scripture in India that says, yasya matam pasya matam matam yasya nevedasaha, which means uh, he who thinks he knows, knows not. He who thinks he knows not, truly knows. Yasya matam tasya matam matam yasya navedasa You're in the truth and you're open to learning, you know. And to me that's what dummies represent. In fact, um, the agent who I had approached, uh, who represented this book, he said at one point, well, if dummies doesn't take it, we'll for sure be able to get idiots. <laughs> and I was like, I don't want idiots. <laughs> idiots is a whole different word. <laughs> To look at my early life, you might think I would be a very unlikely person to write spirituality for dummies. I was brought up by atheist psychology teachers and didn't really know anything about God or religion. The first time I heard of Jesus really was when the movie Jesus Christ Superstar came out. I saw it when I was 14 and was so inspired that I did my first oil painting with scenes from the movie. But you know, as they say, God doesn't call the qualified, he qualifies the called. I see. It happened when I was touched by a great being. Swami Muktananda came into my life and swept me up into realms of spiritual awareness that I had never even imagined or wanted. I lived 10 years of very dedicated monastic life and then went to Hollywood. <laughs> the essay, courtesy of editor Sharon Janis. Now it's time to reflect on Thanksgiving 1991 with the magical touch of editor Sharon Janis. The music is by Whitney Houston. The video magic by our own Sharon Janis. And the Emmy goes to Sharon Janis, editor. Every copy of Spirituality for Dummies comes with a CD in the back of the book that has 17 tracks of inspiring spiritual music with Gregorian chanting, Christian songs, Buddhist text, Jewish prayers, Hindu chants, Latin hymn, gospel music sung by various artists and myself. Amen. 
Bravo. Thank you.